I'm Ellie, and today I'm going to speak about the basic macroscopic anatomy of the kidneys. So where do the kidneys lie? They are situated at approximately waist level. The left kidney sits slightly superiorly to the right kidney, due to the liver being on the right-hand side of the body. The kidneys lie behind the peritoneum that lines the abdominal cavity, hence they are called retroperitoneal structures. As they are located just below the dome of the diaphragm, which I've drawn on here, during deep inspiration, as the diaphragm flattens, they move inferiorly by approximately three centimetres. So as you can see, the kidneys are bean-shaped. Each kidney has a superior pole, an inferior pole, and an anterior and posterior surface. The lateral border of the kidney is convex, and the medial border is concave. At the concave medial border is the hilum of the kidney, and this is where the renal artery enters and the renal vein and ureters emerge. So I'm just going to draw on the IVC and the abdominal aorta. And here are the renal arteries and the renal veins, and I'll draw on the ureters in green. And this area where these structures are entering or emerging from the kidney is the hilum. It's worth noticing that the renal veins lie anteriorly to the renal arteries at the hilum. And for completeness, I'm just going to draw on the adrenal glands. The kidneys are anchored in place by the renal coverings. The image I have drawn is a transverse section like you would see on a CT scan. So just to get orientated, here are the erector spinae muscles. And here's the psoas major. And the structure in red is the kidney. And here's the IVC and abdominal aorta. The innermost layer of the renal coverings is the fibrous renal capsule, which protects the delicate inner structure of the kidney and helps to maintain hydrostatic pressure, aiding urine formation. Next up is the perinephric fat in which the kidneys are embedded. This holds them in place and protects them from mechanical damage. Then, surrounding the perinephric fat is a connective tissue membrane, also known as the renal fascia. Clinically, the renal fascia can cause problems. For drawing inflammation, it can restrict enlargement, thus causing pain. Another layer can also be found on the posterior abdominal wall, and this is called the parinephric fat. So here's the inner structure, or the internal structure of the kidney. There are three main parts you need to focus on, the cortex, the medulla, and the renal pelvis. The outer, lighter bit of the kidney is called the cortex, and it forms a continuous outer zone that has inward projections, called the renal columns. The, the darker inner bit of the kidney is called the medulla. The medulla is formed by the renal pyramids. The bases of the pyramids face outwards and the apex of each pyramid faces inwards. The renal pyramids are separated by the renal columns. The apex of each pyramid is also known as a renal papilla. At the tip of each renal papillae are the small openings of the collecting ducts, which collect urine. So, each renal papillae opens into a cup-like minor calyx, which unite to form a dilatation called the major calyx. And then the major calyces unite to form the renal pelvis. And from here, the urine drains into the ureter and onwards towards the bladder.